Hello and welcome to Soma. My name is Cat and I will be your guide on this possibly terrifying journey. This game I heard about a while back. Uh, it's made by the people that made the original Amnesia game. Um, that's all I know about it. So let's get on with it, shall we? Okay. This is entertaining so far. Um... Ah! Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Philip K... something. I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Oh dear. Christ. Yep, I got yeah, you. I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah. Hang on a minute. That's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Yeah, all right, Ian. So this guy's brain bleeds a lot. Oh, give me that. All right, whatever. Mark and Diana Miller have has fi yeah okay finally caught a break. They've managed to save up enough money to take that f the family on that vacation to Hawaii they've always been talking about for so long. But as the sun sets over Waikiki Beach the first day, Mark and Diana's paradise turns into a nightmare. Swimmers are caught in thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere below the waves. Slowly, swimmers are pulled screaming into the dark water. Desperate to get out of harm's way, their seven-year-old son, Charlie, is caught by the vicious tendrils. Suspenseful, mystical, and absolutely terrifying. Hooked will pull you in. Yeah, all right. Uh, answering machine? Hey, Simon. It's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, Miss you mean it. End of messages. I swear that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even Ooh, sent a nice email to remind him, didn't I? Where did I put the tracer fluid? That's what I'm wondering. Uh, lovely drawing there. That is, this is better than I can draw. Uh, get well soon, love mum. Oh, oh. Ah, uh, this one doesn't have any text. Okay, well, let's just go on with this, shall we? From David Munchy, subject in neurograph session, date 30th of April, 2015. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Sincerely, David Munchy. 
new prescription from Dr. Aaron Peake. Subject, new prescription, date 28th, April 2015. Dear Mr. Jarrett, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for Prazosin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest, and I will see you next week. Sincerely, Dr. Aaron P. Oh, I forgot to hit send. Hi, Jesse. Since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got that doctor's appointment tomorrow, i.e. I'm not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store. And please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They are starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, pe books tend to sell much better if they are put on the shelves where people are actually able to see them. Able to actually see them. Good luck, you'll need it, Simon. Yep. Send that email, you. Better late than never. Yeah, I suppose so. That's a good rule. Except, probably not really. Cool. I think if I was putting something medical in my house, I would put it in a medical cabinet such as this. Close. Thank you. Perfect. Come on, All right. radioactive tracer fluid. Where are you? Right. Watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. That sounds like fun. Massive recoil. John Hugh is a corrupt cop working in Hong Kong. One day his life is turned upside down as he meets Amber, a mysterious foreigner who's kept prisoner by the Golden Dragon Triad. Get ready to go rogue, for it's time to go against the Triad, the police, and the supernatural forces of the underground. Get ready for massive recoil. It's the most cheesy accent action movie description ever. Let me just... Nothing but fast food. I should buy something healthier in my home. Hey, you should. There it is. Oh, okay, here we go. Drink that rubbish. Feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Pennies aren't that bad. Oh, hey. Actual people. Okay. Oh. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over now, buddy. Over now, buddy. Oh, you seem like a nice guy. You're set up. Get away from me. What the F are you talking about? Alright. Okay. Hello? Dr. Munchie? There we go. Where is everyone? Thought this place would be busy. Nope. Get this box. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna snoop around. Mmm, okay. 
Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got a hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I have managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use our computers to run models, and also if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Aaron Peek will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change, so I called security. Talked to Professor Wei to have him vouch for our project and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or text, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Good. Wait. Yeah. It's not just a door scanner thing. <laughs> nice beard. Two five oh one. Yo. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. So. Okay. What exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, hey. Ah! Alright, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Yep. Right. Toronto, Canada. Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph. Version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Cheese. Gouda. Parmesan. Ah. You've killed me. I don't know, it's all dark. I can't see a thing. Hello? Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? What the hell is this place? How did I get here? Uh, that is a very good question. You, good question. I don't have an Omni tool. What is an Omni? Oh. Hey, that kind of looks like a, uh, one of the devices I use at work. 
I forget what they're called. Da 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 da, yep. Do I have an only tool? No, no, I do not. Chair. Whoa. Um. I didn't work. Oh, oh, oh. For the win. No, for the, for the, there we go. Oh, that's locked, okay. Whoa. It's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call perma seal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? How did I do that? That's disgusting. Let's stand under it. Yeah. Chinese food. I think. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. That was a really effective lock, if that's what that was supposed to be. That was nice. Don't do that again. Or I'll be severely... Just don't do that. Ooh. I don't like this. Not a bit. Okay. Ah, that's what I just came out of. Um. Where am I supposed to go? I didn't even see this place. This place looks really goopy. But... Nope, just looks really goopy. No, no, no. What's that? Oh hey, that thing. Nice. Mm 
Okay. I assume I need that. The Omni tool is an advanced interface for accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. The onboard intelligence includes an open set of behaviors and protocols to enable the user to automate routine actions through basic log logical charts. Over time, the Omni tool will automatically adapt its programs to cover subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize user error. The Omni tool has a short range signal useful for basic or automated actions such as opening doors while performing complex operations. The Omni tool should be physically connected to a workstation or terminal. To upgrade your device, simply slide operators into the main or the auxiliary slot. The main slot has a standard C1121 connector, which allows the user to fit most market cortex shifts into the Omni tool. Note that introducing an additional AI will ov override the onboard intelligence. The auxiliary slot is a multi-connector fitting a large range of toolchip models, including but not limited to A1113-3988, A2090. Uh, 10 1 X hate 1 to 9 and ju uh, J U C I 329 what the heck are you talking about all right all right um it's about as much time as I've got for this first episode I hope you've enjoyed this journey so far this looks like it's going to be quite terrifying um, if you're interested in whatnot, stay tuned for the the um, t stay tuned for some more episodes of this later. Um, uh, if you if you are enjoying this one, go check out some of the other videos and playlists that I've made, and have a good one.